Hello, welcome to my video this Monday. Listen, this week it has to be about mindset. A short video. It's about what is happening in the in the world in the UK market and how we best cope with things. <laughs> You and I will both have things which will come to try, test us, take our peace away, take our focus away, and from stop us doing some of the work that we need to do. Whether that is part of the coronavirus, the effects of it, whether it's losing our job, whether it's losing business, whether it's our business is just flatlined. The, the thing is, if our mind is not right, and, you know, I remember reading a book, it's called Battlefield of the Mind. And I think the name of that book is probably the one of the best titles I've ever heard, because I think it's so true. The battlefield of the mind is where you and I will win or lose on our journey in life, in business, whatever it is. You and I have to make decisions every single day, whether to get up, to shave, to wash, to get on, to get out, to make those calls, to do the difficult things. You and I have to do that. Um, the mindset behind it is that we put off things until tomorrow very much. Um, it's quite a common human natured thing. Whereas we should be doing the opposite. We should take the things that we don't like and do those first. Now, I'm as guilty as the rest of you, the uh, rest of us, should I say, uh, in the way that sometimes, yes, um, you know, we were burgled a long time ago in my office and I still haven't actually gone in and sorted that out. There's stuff there which I still need to go through and, and sort out. It's not an important thing, but it's something I, sh I need to do, but I just keep putting it off because I can do other things more important, uh, which are you know, more important to what I, I'm doing in business. But it is one of those jobs that I look at it and I just keep pushing it aside. Now, could I tell you I haven't had the time to do it? I could, but that would be a lie. Uh, because the truth is I'd go and play golf, I might watch TV or something or, or just relax where well, I could be getting and doing that. So what is it with mindset? Well, look, the first thing you should be doing to change your mindset is physical things. So if, you know, I learned this a long time ago, I did sports psychology and I did learn that, uh, you know, one of my um, favorite um, mindset things is Roger Bannister who broke the four minute mile. They used to say, and, and think about this, they used to say that there's no way a human being can run a mile in less than four minutes because their heart would burst. Okay, so not a lot of people understand this. The doctors had said you mustn't try it because you will die. And yet these athletes went after it, but there was a mental block. Maybe it was the fear of their heart dying. I don't know. But after he did, he broke the four mid minute mile. Dozens of other athletes around the world broke the four minute mile. And now they run it in crazy time. But it's funny. Um, there's another one, uh, Clifford Young in Australia. Again, another favorite of mine. He was a 61 year old farmer. He entered, I think it was the Sydney to Melbourne race. I think it was 550 mile race. And he was a, a farmer that used to run in his gum boots and, and just like running. Anyway, he entered the race. Someone said, you should enter the race. And he entered it and everyone's standing on the front line and they've got all their, you know, their nice gear on. He's quite dressed down and some of them I'm sure were laughing at him. Anyway, they set off and, you know, he's not the fastest, but he, he loved his running and he won that race by 10 hours until a second place person came in. And they, when they interviewed him, he said, when did you rest? He said, I didn't know we could. And he just very much, but he smashed it and he didn't allow the mindset that they had to follow everyone like sheep to succeed. How do you get there? 
Well, one of the things you should be doing is to read positive things every day. So if I can commit to you, read 10 pages of a book that will help in what you're doing. Now, I'm not saying if you're working computers, you should read a computer book. Read an inspirational book of a life story where someone has done something incredible. Now, that may well be computers um, but read something where they've it inspires you you know sports I love to read sports uh, testimonies of how people have overcome adversity and done so much uh, Christopher Reeve who, who played Superman was told he'd never walk and never move anything in his body again well his biography was amazing when he he, can, he learned to use one finger and that changed his life it gave him ability and everything else Read these sort of stories. It will inspire you to do more. That's one, one mindset thing. But these, these things are the things that I absolutely love. I like people of principle. Eric Liddell from Scotland. He was known as the Flying Scotsman. He went to the Olympics, I think it was in 1926. He was supposed to be the fastest runner in the world at the time. But he... As he went to France for the Olympics, when he got there, he found out that some of the heats, the pre, you know, getting into the final, some of the heats were on a Sunday. And he was a devout Christian. And he said, I'm sorry, but I cannot, cannot run on a Sunday. That's God's day. And I like people of principle, whatever faith they are, I like people of principle. And he was asked by the King of England and the Prime Minister to run for his country. And he said, look, I'm sorry, but God first. And he wouldn't do it. And he got slated in the press. He absolutely got torn down. But one of the British team came to him and said, look, I've already got my medal. Why doesn't he take my place? I think it was a 440 yard run. 400 yards or 440 whatever it was and he said okay he said well I'm not a, a 400 meter runner 400 yard runner anyway so the I think it was a Swedish guy who was the world champion was in that race and they all said look don't worry about Eric he's going to go off he's a sprinter he's going to go off let him go he won't last the length and just run the normal race but before he went you know, he got to the stadium, just about go to the race, and one of the American runners, Schwartz, put a little thing in his hand, a little piece of paper, and he opened it and it said, those who honour me, I will honour. And that's a scripture from the Bible. Anyway, Eric got ready to start, gun goes off, he starts. He had a very unique style in the way he ran. You should read his, his biography, it's incredible. Anyway, not only did he win, but he won by some distance and he broke the world record. You see, overcoming obstacles, standing on principles and making sure that you do things right. I have, whatever your faith is, whether you want to call it calm or whatever, but I firmly believe that we reap what we sow. And if we stand fast, we work on our mind, then in this difficult time, doors will open up for you because you're sowing good seed. Don't cheat, don't scam people, don't promise things that you cannot deliver. Do the right way. And I'm sure you and I will receive a great harvest. Um, listen, have a wonderful week. I hope you've enjoyed this. Just a little bit on mindset, but it's so important for us in our mental health, in whatever, do something physical, go for a walk, go for a run, do some exercise, start to change what you eat, you know, get healthy, read something positive every day, 10 pages, commit to it for 30 days and you'll read a couple of books, all right? You'll enjoy it. Please comment what you think, especially if you've done this and tell me how it's changed your life. That'd be amazing that we can start to see this. Listen, have a most wonderful week. God bless you. Bye-bye.